There's nothing better than a nice day at the beach. Building sandcastles, eating ice cream, paradise. But sometimes people get a little more than a salty swim. From encounters with deadly beasts to seriously mysterious phenomenon, here are some crazy beach moments that, if not filmed, nobody would believe. Bizarre Beach Body Over in Australia in March 2022, something shocking washed up on a Queensland beach. While taking a stroll, Alexander Tan noticed what, at first, seemed like a strange dog lying down on the sand. Curiosity got the better of him and he slowly approached to get a better look. I've stumbled across something weird. This is like one of those things you see when people claim that they found aliens. Look at it. How weird is that? God, what the heck is that, Poseidon? What did you do? Alexander described the beast as having a lizard-like tail, human-like hands, and the nose of a possum and patches of black fur. The whole host of commenters claimed that this was finally proof of alien activity. Others believed it was a prehistoric creature that had been surviving somewhere deep under the sea. Spooky. Unfortunately, I've got to step into a phone booth for a second and become my alter ego, Buzzkill Man. A University of Queensland professor, Stephen Johnston, looked at the video and concluded that it was most likely the remains of a possum, albeit waterlogged and hairless. There had been flooding in the area, so the poor thing could have easily been washed into the ocean where it met its demise. Oh man, makes more sense than a soggy, doggy alien though, right? Up, up, and away. Last week, my dreams of owning a jetpack were dashed when Mama Amaze told me they didn't exist. So imagine my rage when I saw this clip. Leave those passengers alone. I need to call my mom after this video's done. Yep, that's a real jetpack. The guy having all the fun is British inventor Richard Browning. You've just seen him casually taking his Daedalus flight suit out for a spin around Dorset's historic Dirtle Door Rock Formation in the UK. Invented by Browning, the suit uses jets and a power pack to propel the user through the air at up to 85 miles per hour. That's one of the coolest things ever, right? Well, not everyone agrees. See, conservationists didn't appreciate the extra publicity that the precious rock formation received from the viral video. The natural limestone arch is one of Dorset's most esteemed historical sites, and they worried that the clip would encourage more people to try stunts around it, potentially endangering both themselves and the arch. What's more, the flyby also caused a whole load of noise pollution and left an awful stench of kerosene in the air. So yeah, I can sort of understand being peeved by it. But it's just so darn cool! Ugh. I guess I'll have to wait until they've worked out all the smelly, noisy kinks before I order my jetpack off Amazon. You shouldn't wait to hit those like and subscribe buttons, though. That way, you'll never know the pain of missing out on great videos like this one. All sorted. Well, let's get back to it. Fish out of water. Everybody knows that fish need water to breathe. Without it, they'd be very much X fish. That is, except for zombie fish, of course. No, I'm not messing with you. The sucker mouth catfish, or common pleco, has a very special technique it employs to survive if it finds itself stranded on land. It can essentially mummify itself alive. Seriously. Pretty dead, right? Then. Whoa! See why they're nicknamed zombie fish now? Just a splash of water on its mouth, and the fish suddenly springs back to life. So, what the heck's going on? Well, pleco are among a small group of fish that have the ability to store oxygen within their bodies, just in case of an emergency. If they get stranded, they'll dry out and stop moving to conserve precious energy. Like this, they can use their oxygen reserves to survive for up to an astonishing 30 hours before needing to return to water. 
On top of that, in truly dire situations, they can actually breathe air for a short time, keeping them alive just a little bit longer. Awesome. No word on whether they revive with a hankering for delicious brains just yet, though. Beer Bad In July 2022, marine biologist Sherry Maris was shocked to stumble across something deadly during her walk along the shore of the Mornington Peninsula in Australia. Beer. Only this wasn't any old beer. Oh, no. Something had set up shop inside the discarded can. When my grandma told me that drinking was bad for me, I don't think this is quite what she meant. What you're looking at is a blue-ringed octopus, and it's one of the most venomous animals on the planet. Their bite contains a powerful venom that can cause paralysis, blindness, heart failure, and even a nap with the fishes, or octopi in this case. Needless to say, you wouldn't want to have accidentally picked up this can. But how did it get in there? Well. Because they have no bones, octopuses can contort themselves into all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes and squish themselves into very tiny spaces. There could even be one in your toilet you bend right now. Okay, that's just a joke, but they totally could fit in there if they wanted to. Thankfully, Sherry knew what she was doing and waited for the tentacled boy to head back inside before putting the can further out to sea, hopefully right at the bottom of it. A killer day out. Viewer beware, you're in for a scare. A cold Halloween morning, a deserted beach, something stirs. In the distance, a menacing figure approaches with ill intent. Do you run? Fight back? What should... Oh, never mind. They got him. Woo! But wait, I thought Michael Myers wasn't real. As terrifying as it would be to see this masked figure stomping towards you, it was actually just Texas attorney Mark A. Metzger III. Back in 2021, he dressed up as Halloween franchise's infamous villain to play a little prank on his community during COVID. That's a way of raising people's spirits. Yeah, <laughs> very funny. I'd have pooped my tidy whities And this particular prank had consequences, legal ones. See, it turns out a lot of people were alarmed at seeing the fictional, unstoppable boogeyman walking around town. Especially considering Metzger thought it was a good idea to bring a fake, bloody knife with him. Hmm, not a smart move. Because of this, he was taken to court, but fortunately for Metzger, ended up being let off by a judge with a sense of humor. Heck, he had to have one, because Metzger showed up to court in costume. <laughs> what do you think? Was this just a harmless prank? Or did he deserve to have the book thrown at him? Let me know down in those comments. Beached Behemoth I'm sure we've all come across the odd fish or crab washed ashore at the beach at some point in our lifetimes. And probably a tiny one, right? I highly doubt that it was as big as this thing. The creepy piscine is a goliath grouper. Ginormous fish that grow to a whopping 800 pounds and it washed up on a Florida coastline in July 2021. But what could possibly have bested this beached behemoth? Well, you might be surprised. Almost every summer, algae in the area give off a harmful toxic bloom into the ocean that's devastating to a huge number of sea creatures, including groupers. So no mega shark responsible here, just unsuspecting algae. This particular sorry soul was so massive that an excavator was required to move it. Wow. That year, over 600 tons of dead fish washed up on Florida beaches. I reckon this guy accounted for about half of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm craving fish and chips for some reason. Lumos I never used to believe in magic, but then I saw this clip taken on the sands of Jervis Bay, New South Wales, back in 2020, and everything changed. <laughs> It's, oh it's lighting up your legs. <laughs> okay, believe it or not, this isn't magic, but it definitely looks like it, huh? In reality, 
This is an incredible bloom of thousands of bioluminescent algae. The algae in question is Noctilica scintillans, one of the most common bioluminescent creatures in the world's coastal areas. But there are many other creatures like it. The light show is caused by organisms using a chemical reaction to convert chemical energy in their bodies directly into light energy. In the case of algae, the chemical reaction only happens when it's jostled in water, leading to us humans having quite a bit of fun with it. Though considering bioluminescence is employed to either attract prey or ward off predators, I'm not sure it's having quite the desired effect here. Unless the algae uprising is coming, and they're just distracting us while they wait for the time to strike. Stunning Sunfish The ocean sunfish, or mola mola, is a pretty wacky animal. Starting out as a baby, it can fit in the palm of your hand, and it grows to some absolutely nutty sizes. But how big are we talking? Well, take a look at this. <laughs> Crikey. This video was filmed off the coast of the Spanish port city of Suta in North Africa in 2021. While fishing for tuna, these guys accidentally caught this mega fish instead. And if you thought that Goliath grouper was big from earlier, this finned fatso weighed in at an absolutely monstrous 4,000 pounds. That's heavier than a 2009 Ford Taurus. Jeez. Even that's just an estimate, though because the Goliath threatened to break the scales if researchers weren't careful, forcing them to make an educated guess. We know for sure it measured in at a colossal 10.5 feet long, though. Researchers were captivated by the big girl because she was the hugest one they'd ever seen. Indeed, the average ocean sunfish is usually only about 6 feet long and 2,000 pounds heavy. Still massive, sure, but our prize piscine was around twice that. She was examined and photographed as well as harvested for a little DNA sample, before being popped back in the briny deep where she belonged. I think she felt a little self-conscious after the whole scale-busting thing, though. She's been trying to lose weight ever since. Hey, good luck to her. Frightening Figures You ever have that nightmare of the shadow people standing in the corner of your bedroom? Just me? Well, anyway. When I found this eerie video that seemingly captures my sleep paralysis demon out and about, I wasn't pleased. But it wasn't long before I stumbled on footage of another one. Okay, now I was absolutely freaked. The figure looks human, but they're far too still. Who stands there like that? Well, for days I worried, racking my colossal brain for any clues I could use to track down the truth. Eventually, after many sleepless nights, I hit the jackpot. These aren't scary shadow creatures at all. They're actually just cast iron statues on Crosby Beach in Liverpool, England. There's a grand total of 100 of the frightening fellas, and they comprise an art piece by British sculptor Sir Anthony Gormley, dubbed Another Place. Each statue was molded from Gormley's own body, coming in at 6 foot 2 inches tall, and placed so that they'd be submerged by the sea during high tides. Ooh. I'm still kind of creepy then, I can't lie. Art lovers naturally adored the installation, but there were concerns from residents. Some were worried that the statues were a safety hazard for people that took part in water sports. Others feared that the increased tourist activity would affect local bird populations, compromising their feeding areas. Regardless, the local council allowed the statues to remain. They're still stood on Crosby Beach to this day. Just don't go and see them at night, huh? Just in case. Bark Bark When you're having a great day out at the beach, it can be easy to forget that wild animals live there. I mean, most of the time they'll simply avoid you, but sometimes... Back in July 2023, beachgoers visiting La Jolla Cove in San Diego were left terrified when a group of California sea lions turned aggressive. Their fiercely territorial creatures 
who've made the cove their home, and the sheer number of tourists that day must have peeved them. <laughs> Jeez, all that barking you're hearing is a warning. Sea lions are seriously vocal animals, and they use sounds to defend their territory. So, if you're intruding, they'll make sure that you know it. But they're not all bark, no bite. After these moist mammals have charged and shouted at you, if you don't get out of dodge, they won't be afraid to get physical. And given that a sea lion bite is about as strong as four Dobermans put together, that's the sort of thing that could really put a crimp on your day. Luckily, despite all the chaos, nobody was hurt this time. You want my advice? If you're out relaxing somewhere and you see a sea lion, keep your distance and don't bother it. Breaking the Ice This next clip is from Niagara River in Canada. And although it's not strictly a beach, it's so damn cool I couldn't not show it to you guys. In February 2019, it got so cold that huge swaths of the river froze over creating thick ice sheets along the water's surface. That was until some seriously strong winds rolled in. I got it! Oh man, that's crazy. The wind was so powerful that it pushed the huge ice sheets into the retaining wall, causing them to slide over the top and crash dramatically onto the road. Good job nobody was there. This kind of phenomenon isn't uncommon in cold places like Canada, but managing to catch the whole thing on camera certainly is. Let's be honest though, the cameraman makes it. This guy's enthusiasm is infectious. Not all they seem. It's safe to say I've seen a lot of things in my internet travels, but this photo, taken on Still Bay, South Africa, has me stumped and more than a little worried. One Jan Vorster uploaded the snap to Facebook back in 2022, and it pretty quickly sent the internet wild. What were these? Some kind of grotesque sea monsters invading the world of the land dwellers? People were terrified. Would-be tourists even contacted Jan asking whether it was safe to visit South Africa. That's when I enlisted the help of an old friend to get to the bottom of this. That's right, it's the not-so-triumphant return of Buzzkill Man! It turns out, the strange life forms are actually just dead aloe vera plants that Jan specifically positioned to look like monsters. Um, what? You see, he wanted to spread the message of environmentalism. The idea was that humans see the plants as aliens, when really, we're the aliens ruining the natural world around us. Uh, it really is a buzzkill. And I'm afraid that's not it for everyone's least favorite superhero. Elsewhere, citizens of the internet were floored in 2016 when they stumbled across a photo of what appeared to be the remains of the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, Nessie herself had supposedly washed ashore the titular lake. Fierce debate erupted. Some stalwart in their belief that this really was the infamous cryptid, others not so convinced. In truth, it was actually just a prop for a TV show. <laughs> of course. The show itself seems to have fallen into obscurity, however, unlike these photos that still do the rounds on social media every now and then. Something else you may have seen during the rounds is this startling image, dubbed by some the Tampa Bay Sea Monster. Way back in 2009, this photo made waves when it first appeared on the internet, and even today, you can still see it floating around sometimes. It's true, it's a shocking image, but as you might have guessed, it too is nothing more than a fakery. The mysterious carcass is actually an art piece by Juan Cabana, 
who creates grotesque mermaid-like models from animal remains. This particular creation is a heavily modified baboon skull, not a real-life sea monster. The original photo was just edited to make it appear much larger. There, Buzz officially killed. All right, that's enough now. You'll be relieved to hear that Buzzkill Man is going back in his cage again. Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus Two beastly behemoths, both with more teeth than I have YouTube subscribers. Mm, maybe. Probably not, actually. Point is, who will win this epic monster mash? <clears throat> well, in February 2021, Yvonne Palmer and her husband, Tony, would find out the answer. The duo was enjoying a leisurely Sunday morning fishing trip on a beach in far north Queensland when, whoops, they hooked up a couple of small sharks. As they stepped over to release the fanged fishies, though, they realized they were being watched. There among the ocean waves was a mammoth saltwater crocodile, and the battle was on. I cannot stop shaking. Welcome to Cardwell, North Queensland. Oh man, that's absolutely crazy. Now, this wasn't exactly the fairest of fights, I'll admit. Saltwater crocs are the biggest reptiles around, able to reach a massive 20 feet in length. And that shark that was a small fry, and stuck on land, and barely moving. But hey, if I was that salty, I'd take the win. Terrible Tentacles Bondi Beach, 2022. The sun went down one evening. A group of men in biohazard suits swarmed the sands. Something big was going down. They worked through the night, clearly desperate to finish their mysterious task. And the next day, when civilians arrived, what they saw was utterly chilling. This sinister monstrosity. The gross. Now, thankfully, this wasn't actually a giant tentacle monster. What you're looking at is a promotional prop for the fourth season of the Netflix hit Stranger Things. It's supposed to represent a portal to the Upside Down, the alternate dimension featured in the show. These promotional pop-ups appeared all over the world from New York City to Poland, so no, the aliens weren't invading, but Stranger Things fans sure were. Apparently, they loved the Bondi Beach pop-up so much that some of them burst into tears. Okay, calm down guys, they're only tentacles. The Great Serpent Just off the coast of the French commune saint brevin le pin swims an incredible serpent. Or at least, what's left of one. This is the Serpent d'Ocean an utterly breathtaking beachside spectacle that gives me the heebie-jeebies. This great aquatic serpent isn't real, though, fortunately. It's an aluminum art installation by Chinese artist Huang Yang Ping. And coming in at a mind-blowing 425 feet long, it's as long as the Great Pyramid of Giza is tall. The impressive behemoth is designed to be submerged by the tide, allowing flora and fauna to gradually grow over and cover it as time goes on. But what's the point? Well, it seems Huang was trying to make a statement on the cycle of life and nature. The snake started as a skeleton, representing death, but will soon be covered with life, in a sort of reverse timeline. Uh, yeah, I don't get it, but it does look hella cool, though. The Sea Demon One day in September 2023, Panama resident Brenda Gonzalez was taking a relaxing stroll on the beach when things quickly took a turn for the worst. There was something on the beach ahead of her. Oh man, what the heck is that? After doing the normal thing and uploading the creepy encounter to TikTok, commenters were quick to give their theories. Some believe the hairy monstrosity was a skinwalker, a fierce, shape-shifting witch from Native American culture. And yeah, maybe it is. Uh, let's watch the rest, huh? Yep, it's not a skinwalker, it's just one big joke. Brenda had actually recorded her dog, Lolita, playing around. 
She was hoping to get a laugh out of people, but hadn't expected to terrify the entirety of the internet instead. Ha! Huh. I always knew I was more of a cat person anyway. Well, after all that, I'm making sure I've got my camera at the ready next time I go to the beach. Which of those crazy clips blew your mind the most? Let me know down in those comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.